Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on anubavtrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are learning cloud application programming model with Mongo database. By far, we have implemented our first Fury app on top of cloud application programming model with Node.js on top of MongoDB. This application is able to display the customer data. In today's session, you will learn how to create, update and delete data including adding validations. So let's get started. We are going to complete as usual in four different phases. In our first phase, we are going to add a new view called add view to add a new customer. In the step two, we are going to add the code for the view and perform all the required bindings. And in step three, we will implement the controller with the required operation to post the data to the backend system. So let's get started to implement the same. I'm going to switch over back to our application. And here we will add now a new view. So first let me add the routing. So we will grab here the routing class and we switch over back to the router. And I will just get manifest JSON. In this we will add the routing for the same. So first thing we are going to add a new route for our new page, which is the add page. So let's add a new root. You can also copy and adopt existing root. Let's call this add customer and or add root and I can call it as add customer and I'm going to call a new root called add. Let's define this new root just below the existing root called add. And in here, we are going to pass a new view called add view. Nice. So that's our step number one. Now we will go back to the view one and add a button control. And also for on click of the button, we are going to trigger our root. So let's come back to the first view and add a new button in the footer of the page, page one. And let's call it as button control with a text called add or manage customer with an icon of add icon and on press we are going to trigger on add so let's implement on add in the view one controller and here in this on add button we are going to write our logic to load the route so we already have the router object using this we can navigate to our new view called add view and we perform a nav to our add root so we perform this and now you can see the root name is called add i'm going to do that so add yes so next step once this is done is let's add the new view add view so what i will do is i will just right click and say new view add.view.xml and we also add a controller we have done this already in our fury training more in detail so if you are new to sap fury development please join our course on ui5 and fury where we have covered this more in detail what is a view what is a controller how to work with a fury application and now we are just going to grab the code for the view let's add that and basically if you look at it uh, it is having a view starting a view and this view have something called a view definition <coughs> with a simple form control and a toolbar at the bottom which has save delete and clear button three buttons we have at the bottom and in the simple form we have a set of input fields for filling customer name company name type of customer as a drop down with three option customer supplier and other email id address and contact number number is a number then country with four countries out of the box added out here and this is the code which we have written for our add view so make sure that is done in the view and now i have some special characters which i just get rid of here in vs code this has come due to copy paste yes okay good so now we can just format our document 
and this is our add view which we have created yes. now next step is to add a controller so I'm going to add a controller and let's add the controller code here and this is our controller code and it seems like we have some issues while copying from the from the fury from the ppt so let me just fix this by replacing the characters the special characters here these special characters i will replace okay so we did the replacement and now we've got our source code for our entire controller added to the page fantastic so now as a next step what we will do we will just test this application but before that let me take you through the source code important piece of the code so first we are doing a initialization here with a local json model and then we are setting the data to this local json model yes next step is we are going ahead and having a implementation for clear button if you remember the clear button basically the clear button is going to clear up all the data so this local json model is bound as a two-way binding to the view so the data of exchange will take place and we are also defaulting couple of a uh, couple of properties out of the box so then we have a clear button which clears the data resets it to the default data and then we have the save button in the save button i have two modes one is update mode and one is create mode so in create mode we are going to create a new customer we are going to fire a odata request to create a new customer and once creation is successful we say wow you made it amigo if it's the update mode then we are going to update the data based on the payload id based on the primary key of the customer record we will update that that's something which we will see in our next episode but for now we our focus is to implement the create functionality having said that let's proceed now and we can just test our application so let's go back and test our app so as usual we are going to start cds watch and this should now start our front end application including our back end middleware yes started let's switch over back to the browser let me open a chrome browser and we go to localhost 4004 and you can see we have got index html so this starts our app and you can see now we got a button called manage customer i click on that and there you go it loads a view with some default values so let me create now a new customer and we can go back and check in mongodb how many records are there so let me try to find a customer with the country as uk so i will just try to put uk and currently there are no records for uk so it's time that we add a new record so let me add a new company called shell and i will say um, this is uh, owned by or contact person is robert and then it's a customer and i can just say robert.shell my road or victoria road some number and now we choose here as uk so having said that we click on save button at the bottom of this page yes we have the save button at the bottom and i can press f12 key to just show you the network call so the moment we press save it makes a post request and wow amigo it's been saved i guess we get a response a nice response which means if i go back to my mongo now i would eventually see here a record for country uk and voila you can see a new record robert has been inserted in our database with exact same value what we pass from the fury ui so this is the implementation of create now important thing if i hit the save again uh, what happens it will again create one more customer with the same name but i don't want that to happen if i click on save you see it again saved it and i have now two records yes for now i will manually delete this second record because it's a duplicate so now we need to perhaps add a more robust uh, implementation for checking uh, if the customer is already there if it is there then we should not create so what's the right way of implementing such a validation 
and also how to update and load existing customer records for update and delete we are going to see in our next episode i hope you are enjoying this series of end to end tutorial on mongodb with capm for more tutorial like this please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified once i upload a new video thank you so much once again for watching this channel and i will see you in my next session